Well, hello, hello, it's Ons here, playing a little Atlas today. Um, what I'm doing is I'm continuing from my live stream series. Uh, we're going to uh, move to a, a, a little better video quality, I think, with the live recording. So, um, But the beginning part has already taken place. So what has happened in the interim, if those of you who uh, I have been following so far, is I uh, did achieve my giraffe. I've replaced the giraffe that was killed. I fortified my home base a little bit so that the animals at home, I'm feeling a little more confident. Uh, this is home back here. Uh, the island that I own, that I have claim to, it's called Fort Richmond. Uh, um, but I've gone on a search for a fourth kind of metal and this is where it brought me to. Uh, I took a smaller boat because I figured it'd be a little quicker dodging in and out the islands. Just I wanted to do a quick check. It took me this long before I found some uh, copper is what I ended up finding. And now I have to take this boat. Uh, oh, but the big problem is if we just take this down and this down. The big problem is the weight of the boat right now. Um, I've, uh, this is all the cop, this is all the copper I can bring with me, uh, right now. And I've also got a little iron I found too. I guess I could have dumped that. Uh, we may dump that yet. <laughs> um, we'll see about that. So, we've got to make the long journey home now. Uh, I'm wondering, should I just fast travel back, go grab the larger boat, and then come back? Because it's also got a kind of wood here that I'm not sure I've seen before called aged wood. Uh, I'm not sure if I have that. So, uh, I think though, maybe it's time to get Yogi and uh, Megan back and and the Gumby's FTW. I did not realize you could not change your ship's name after you launched it. <laughs> oh yeah. So, you know. Anyway, time to lift anchor. Somebody actually lives here, just around the corner you will see. Um, note to self, uh, it's a place where you can get rhinos. I think that's going to be my next acquisition because, if I'm not mistaken, they will actually collect the stone. So we've got the thatch, the fiber, and the wood taken care of with my three tames, the bears, the elephant, and the giraffe. But now we're going to need a rhino. That's, that'll be my guess. I'm betting they, they'll gather your stone. And uh, I can build wood all day. I can build great ships. That's what counts with what I have now. Uh, I can build galleons probably pretty easily. Oh, turn your sails and let's plot our course. We actually know that we need to go to the northwest. Basically directly behind us. Is that a fact? No, southwest. Basically west. Basically west, so. Small little, I, I think this is the first boat you get when you, when you, when you leave in the island, and I, I change the sails. But uh, it's a tiny little boat, but she's pretty quick. We've gotta head west. And just to be sure, west is going to be off our right shoulder. Let's do it. We're gonna go right into the winds. But that's where home is. Still heading south.
It is so nice to be rolling into home here on the old home front and get back on the big boat. <laughs> uh, we are in Fort Richmond. This is my island settlement area now. It's like I say, it's nice to be home. Uh, this is my my dock and my little wooden my wooden dock and my wooden house, etc. Uh, I've started putting up stone walls now due to some abuse I've been getting from the uh, local critters. They've been hammering on my walls and on my dock etc and damaging it so uh thusly we have the need for stone more stone and uh, i just kind of get tired of picking stone myself all the time i know the rates are up a little bit on this server on the anchor baby server but i uh i need some help with this so uh uh this guy's great for the thatch this guy wonderful for the wood uh, this uh, the bears, of course, great for fiber, great for protection, berries, etc. But nothing for stones, so... What I am hoping is that uh, possibly a rhino is the solution to all this. I've seen them running and smashing rocks, when, like when they run through rocks, so... I'm assuming they might gather them, so I'm, I'm gonna go look for a rhino. I think that's gonna be my quest. So another thing I have been working on is uh, or a little organization. You'll notice the color coding here. So in this base now, in this this base that I own because I own the island, I'm not worried about it deteriorating. So I can put a little effort into some, doing some things around here. Uh, as long as I keep the, the money going though, I have to pay my taxes. I have to pay the man. It cost me roughly, oops. It cost me roughly, what does it tell me here? 64 every 12 hours, 128 gold coins a day. I've got almost 10,000. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. And we get more all the time. Uh, getting gold is not a problem. See that thing there, right there? He's chewing away on my dock. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but over time, and that's an alpha, oh. Oh, I'd like to see those two fight. <laughs> I wonder if I could make that happen. Probably not. That alpha would kill me pretty fast. Without my bears, which are over there on the boat. Okay, so we're ready for our trip. Uh, the base is a work in progress, obviously. Uh, my lighthouse there. Everything's kind of going with the gold and the purple kind of theme, except for those three buoys over there. But I've got buoys out. Um, I really got to get rid of that alpha. Uh, yeah. So. I will. Alpha Cobra. That's uh, that's no joke. Let's go. These two will handle it though. You watch. Actually, this one will handle it. <laughs> oh, we got bit. Oh, we got hit twice. There you go. All right, it's good leveling to be had for all. That's nice. All right, we're burning daylight here. We got the rest of that. Let's go. 
Let's close our doors. Everything's closed up. Good, good. I made a little treasure gathering area up front here for... I always had trouble when I got to the very front, but this will make it a lot easier. I can just do my zingas. It's all good now. I'm trying to keep the bow light though. I'm not not gonna lie. It's uh, this is a traveler. It's gonna move pretty good. Right now we're sitting. The weight is at 7104 out of 21400. So. I'm at a third weight, and that's with the two bears on the boat. Uh, I've definitely cleaned out a lot of the inventory. I could do a lot more trimming, like I really don't need this thing. I'm sure I don't. I don't need a loom on here. This I do kind of need, and the rest of this I definitely need. I probably don't need four food bags. I don't know what they weigh, but... Uh, That one kilogram, I, I don't know what that, but everything says one kilogram. This says a hundred kilograms of sail. Okay, so if that only weighs one kilogram plus the food, I'm okay with that. Okay, so I think we're about to set sail. We've burnt quite a bit of daylight actually. It's three in the afternoon. Who cares? I know where I'm going. I am definitely going to go to some newer uncharted territory for me. Um, bears are loaded up, my food's okay, the water's decent, I think we can start our trip. And we're headed to the north today. We're actually going to avoid A4, because I'm starting to learn that these quadrants that have those blue squares in them, they're higher level quadrants, so what, even the water around them has nasty stuff in it. So I'm going to cut over to B4, and then uh, I don't believe I've actually, I've only been to the two bottom islands in B4, but uh, I want to head up to maybe B3 and, and, and onwards, maybe up, maybe all the way up, I don't know. We'll see how, how the winds are. And, where we go, we might cut across and do some C's and D's, but I just I just want to open up more of the map. Um, even though that any square I enter basically exposes the whole thing, it doesn't necessarily mean I've been to the island, so uh, that's definitely what I, want, I need to do. So we want to head northwest to begin with, and we can see that that is pretty much pretty much the other side of the island here that way. All right. Anchors up. Let's roll. Looks like we're going to be fighting the wind the whole way. <laughs> Okay, we're coming up on the big 57 island up there. And she's a boozer. I think that's where we're going to be making landfall. And it looks like uh, coastly, she's pretty friendly. Definitely uh, a lot of mountains though. Oh yeah, mountains everywhere. So there does appear to be limited points for getting inside. So I'm going to shoot for this little entrance here. Because it looks like it's kind of gives way to the heart of the island inside. I don't know. This could be some crazy freaking next level island, you know, made for people of, of much higher level. <laughs> I don't know. But the wind is starting to come right against me now as I approach it. Oh, 
Oh, we were still moving. Get the fish, get the fish. Oh, the flying marlin. Okay, everybody stop. Okay. Everybody stand still. I'm throwing. Okay, thank you. I'm still in my warm gear. And I do notice that it is warm outside. So... There we go. We good, man. We good, man. Oh, and there's the ships of the damned. Just in the right spot to chase me away from this island. They're going to be coming right at me and pushing me away into the big strong winds. You bastards. You bought. Look out. Oh, don't get too close. Those will be brigs. Those two. A yellow brig. I don't know what the colors mean yet, but I know the sizes correspond with our ships. And they have galleons, too. Those might actually be schooners. I don't know. I think I'm just going to spin around this island a little more. <laughs> oh, look. You can get it right up over there. There's a big sand... kind of sand uh, landing. Oh, you guys, seriously. Right in the wrong place for me. You. You. Well, let's, let's just cru cruise a little closer to this island and uh, we'll look for a nice opening here. Because the wind is not being nice for this right now either. Sure looks pretty though. So obviously I've never been here. You see it says discovery area question mark. Landfall required. Oh. Uh oh. It's very shallow here. Yes. I think I've just run aground. I was not being careful. Ah, uh, what's that horse scared of? A snake. It's Blackwater Atoll. Atoll. I always, I always laugh when I see Atoll. That reminds me of when I had a deaf girlfriend, and that was her nickname for me. Alright, so keep your eye open for rhinos. I mean, rhinos could operate in, in this kind of environment, can't they? This is like kind of African savanna E. They have cactus and stuff, don't they? As long as there's water. Oh, hello. Jute, by the way, is the miracle farmer. And then we have cactus, which gives the bear nothing. But for me, it's going to give some kind of probably aged wood, I'll bet you. Not if I use my grappling hook. Oh, it's wild cactus, that's right. And cactus seed. I have that. You can break it and not collect anything. Nice. Okay. This is actually looking pretty lifeless. But there is a, an entrance here. Oh, I like this. Like a little sanctuary in the middle here. What have we there? Oh, the ostrich. There's an ostrich here. Okay, okay. And a crocodile. I've already tried. You cannot tame these things. They don't really fight back. They, they don't seem that aggressive to me. But uh, I'm not sure what the ostrich is going to do for you. Ah, other than be a real cool mount. I could probably get me one of these easy, right? Ten. Yeah, well, I probably want something that's not a ten, though. Not a level ten. It can look like a ten. That'd be wonderful. Alright, so here's the entry point. Uh, 
Whoa, nice. Hanging moss. Lots of interesting detail here. Sans tin. Hello. We found our fifth or sixth metal. This is important. This is very important. All right, so we're hoping we'll trip across the pure sources. But for now, I'm going to gather a little bit of this up. Okay, I'm a little precautious at this point. That's what keeps me alive. I guess I could have checked the ship. Ah, rhinos! Two of them. All right. And none of them are seem to be an alpha. A 12 and a... Oh, what was that? A 15? Okay. That's real nice. And, uh, you know, that might come in handy. I'll have to let you know, though. We've got a few other candidates we want to look at at this point. However, you are on the short list. Way up here is where the rhinos ride. Okay, I'm hot. That's not good because I have my coolest summer garb on right now. I'm not Burning Man, so that's fine. I am three asteroids. Comets. Three comets. It does feel hot here. What is it? 42 Celsius. I think that's boiling water right there. Uh, I don't know. Seems very, very hot. Hotter than a man can stand. Oh, what the is that? Holy sh! Okay, this I've never seen before. An old Fend. What can you do? I'll bet you do something with insects with that nose. Wow. I find you all offensive. I'm just going to say you are cartoony. It's like a cross between... Is that a red giraffe? Oh my god, red giraffes. This place is wonderful. We may have to snag a whole bunch of things. Rover, pull the Jeep around, get some rope. We go out and get after these things. I have no idea what to do with this. I guess walk up to see if it'll take a berry, hey? Might be one of those. Doesn't seem aggressive. Very large. Very... Like a super moose. Oh, oh, what does that say? What does that say? It said something. Oh. Stand still. Use bola. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Use bola. Hey, guess what? My bears are not following me, are they? I am doing this solo. Come here. Yeah, really? When you see me walk away like that, can you can you do me a favor? Like, take a little initiative and uh, just, you know, follow along a little bit, okay? I realize I didn't do the whistle thing, but, you know, it's a team, okay? And you're leading the bear part of the team, so that would be great, okay? Okay? All right. Great. Uh, we'll talk about the progress in our next meeting, all right? Thanks so much. Oh, I don't like the sounds of that, whatever that is. Rattlesnake! Yogi! You are on passive, what's the deal? Yes. Yes, yes, okay, well. <clears throat> so we've only seen, really, the two lower level rhinos. And that's fine, I'm not being fussy, I'm happy that the first island we came to, the first new island to explore, had rhinos on it. And the mill I want. So, yeah, I'm super happy. Because, you know, even just a little bit of tin makes this whole trip worth it. It sure does. Okay, so we're pretty happy with this, I'm gonna say. 
We're still looking for hopefully a high level rhino. I want to take that chance. My first team. I've got, uh, I guess, potatoes and some celery and stuff. Let's find this rhino, the, the one that wants to be with us. We've only kind of graced over the northwest corner of the island here. Let's con Oh yeah, sorry! Let's continue on in a westerly... A westerly? An easterly. Whew. We want to go east. Alright, we'll continue on in an easterly direction. Maybe breaking new ground. Good thing I checked the map. Tell me these aren't the two rhinos I just saw, because I'm sure I'm going in a totally different direction now. Yeah, these are, could not have been the two rhinos I just saw. That one's got a weird head, doesn't it? A red head. It's a ginger. So you decided to pass on the bird to attack the bear. Yeah. Give me your paste. All right, so what do you got? What do we got? We've got a four and a six. You kill me, this is crap. Sorry. Boom. Dead rhino. Boy, they got knocked back though, huh? You see old Cindy take the run? In the wrong direction. Let's try this. Boom. Uh, man, that, whatever this is, this nature's call or cry, nature's cry? Not the healing one, the other one. It's frickin' uber offensive. Level four. Oh, I still got a little. Oh, it's gone. Not that I need it. It's a toy. Alright, I don't need to really collect all this meat. But I heard that if you don't take care of the carcass, the, the new spawns won't come. There's no point in killing them if we're not going to spawn new ones, right? That's the idea. We're hunting rhino. And we're looking for whatever gems we could get, or pure metal nodes, pure tin. Uh, I'd like to see those. They're always small, really small rocks, usually, in my experience. Ah! Oh, another rhino. Perfect. Here we go. A female ten. There's another one of those snouty things. Can you actually get around the cactus okay without me knocking out a bunch? Can I? Oh man, this is truly a rhino island though, isn't it? Look at this one. This one's cool looking. You're a level six. God. Is there anything better than this crap here? Is this like kindergarten of rhinos though? That's one thing I gotta say. There's a lot, but they're low level. Well, I hate to say it, but I think this video is running a little bit long now. We're going to have to cut it here and pick it up on the next one. I want to thank you for popping by, and uh, I really look forward to seeing you next time. See ya.